tell us what is digital television? Well, digital is a different way of transmitting a television signal. It's a different format. As UNC TV stands with its digital conversion, where are we now? Our studio conversion is partially complete. We have the uh, infrastructure here in our network operations center. It's, it, it's totally complete so that we can record and, uh, and play back programs in a digital format. But the road from analog to digital was and is a long one. When the Joseph and Kathleen Bryan Communications Center was constructed, it was the biggest change and enhancement to North Carolina's statewide public television network and its ability to serve the citizens of the state. Since 1955, University of North Carolina Television, through its 11 transmitter network, has been bringing local and PBS programming statewide, with technical studio operations originating from the Bryan Center in Research Triangle Park since 1989. But in 2001, a bigger change to UNC-TV was about to come. A federally mandated transition from analog to digital over the airwaves and for UNC-TV, bringing a transition from analog to digital technology at the Bryan Communications Center. From North Carolina Public Television to UNC-HD. With the Bryan Center's construction finished, the engineering team has moved in advance to put together the heart of UNC-TV's operation. It will be six months before the rest of the staff moves in. Director of New Technologies, Kip Campbell. We were scattered across five buildings before we moved here and consolidated for the first time. This was rather a large and somewhat empty room. The master controller air operations was the first to move. Its original tape format was 16 millimeter film. Film gave away to quad tape, two inches wide, which gave away to one inch tape. Videotape is the basic working unit of the television industry. Over the years, we've collected thousands and thousands of reels of tape with programming and historical footage. As we continue to grow, we'll continue to accumulate more videotape. Through the years, programming was run out of Studio 3, or Master Control, the brain of any television station's on-air operations. Now, this is Master Control, and this is one of our Master Control operators, Gloria Howell. From this chair, Gloria has control of the signal that you receive wherever you are in North Carolina. We have some very busy tape operators queuing up North Carolina now, which you'll see in just a few moments. Automation in smaller tape formats took over with the introduction of a video cart machine, known to the staff as RoboDog. Something like RoboDog, which is a giant jukebox for tapes where you'd have several machines and a robot would move tapes in and out. The thing that was needed as these became more advanced and the queuing became more difficult, computers started addressing the machines to do the queuing to select the next cuts. And it is now advanced where it was taking two people to keep us on the air for one program service, where one person is keeping us on the air for eight program services. Meanwhile, in Washington, D.C., Congress was adopting the biggest transformation in over-the-air television since the advent of color, when, in 1997, the FCC issued the mandate that all U.S. television stations must convert to digital. UNC-TV approached the state legislature through the North Carolina Higher Education Bond Referendum. In order to educate North Carolina on the benefits of digital television, UNC-TV presented campaigns of multicasting and high-definition possibilities. The public listened, and in November 2000, the voters spoke. The conversion began. 
Well, the requirement to stay on the air while building the new system, actually, it was fortunate where we happened to have a free operating and studio control space that we could build a new separate digital plant in. Studio Chief Engineer Charlie Allen. Keeping the operation going while we did the installation was a kind of a chess game of moving pieces. We had to build a new master control room in a new space before we could tear out the old one and that had to be done before we could put in the rooms for ingest of material into the server system. We moved to the installation of digital we had to take some of our analog equipment and move it. For instance, we had to take our cart machine, RoboDog, and pick it up and turn it in such a manner that it would allow us to lay two rows of rack where part of it used to stand. One of the goals was to make it as attractive as possible to visitors to the center so that they could see it through the windows into the main hall. We put a large ring of monitors overhead in order to catch the eye and to demonstrate the multiple channels all at once. A large console of semicircular shape was made out of wood for appearance sake. It was designed to be able to seat two operators as well as to be operated by one at a time. Projection displays were used in order to give us the flexibility to see many different configurations of equipment. Uh, monitors were put in for the 14 satellite channels downcoming and all the return feeds that came back to us from the cable systems and the transmitters. We had to bring in substantial new power to the tech core, protected power from our generator and backup systems to keep the place going all the time. The large amount of new equipment required large air conditioning capacity, which we had to cut holes in the wall for and, and uh, actually create a space outside concealed so that we could hide the new air conditioners in the front of the building. The other determinant on HVAC is two units so we have full redundancy. If one fails, the other one needs to be able to fully carry the load. In order to make the project go as smoothly as possible, we hired a systems integrator to put the equipment in place and hook it up and test it. We put in miles and miles of, of cable under the floor I'm standing on here. Harris Corporation provided UNCTV with integration services. The construction project lasted 10 months. The integrator came in, shipped the equipment to us, installed it, connected all of the wires, documented it. We needed someone who could coordinate it, multiple manufacturers, and actual installation. One of the goals in designing the Network Operations Center was to eliminate the use of videotape as much as possible. Uh, towards that end, we went to a disk-based server system, which you can see behind me here, capable of supplying multiple channels at once to, to many different program release channels. Eight channels, fully automated, server system structure that supports them, multiple format ingest rooms. We actually built a separate plant. We were able to test it while our conventional services continued to operate. And then we made a transition to, we'll run it in parallel for a few days, see if everything is working. We'll actually execute the same program logs with the analog facilities we had and the new digital facilities we had and then we just said all right tonight's the night the digital services are on the air In early December 2002, Central North Carolina was hit by a surprise winter ice storm not seen for some time. Power lines were down, and electricity was not restored for days over much of the state. But at 11.30 Friday night, the switch was thrown. 
Welcome to the broadcast tonight. Doug Geal, the New York Times correspondent from Washington. UNC TV was now fully digital, ready to bring five channels of programming to North Carolina. We've done several nice things in building the operations center. Is one is we have developed a multi-channel facility that has not required more people to operate on the daily operation level of it. What I'm most proud of in the NOC is the way that the control rooms came out and the way that the people could interface with the equipment. We had to have the ability to monitor and control with a single person or two people the eight program streams that we might transmit at one point or another. We've also been able to take the Network Operations Center and its technical core and be able to present it to the public. So when they are now enter the building, they can see a television station and its operation.